Okay, so this is the uploaded page. Um, I'm not uh, wanting to use this as an example for you guys because this is not the format for this class. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. It says, do you want to delete it? Yes, I'm sure. Uh, so what we actually I want to do is show how you would put in an HD video because that is something you might be doing for this class. So we're just going to drag an HD video. And it says it's not available for your plan. Display your videos in setting clarity, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so it wants me to upgrade. So this is actually why I'm doing this because on my professional plan, I can use that. Um, but uh, apparently for this, you can't. But here we go. We have a YouTube one. Let's see if that works. All right, YouTube is rocking. So we can do this. Uh, and I'll bet if I click in here, it's going to ask me for a link. So let's just click. Let's see. There we go. Your video URL. So that means I have to go and find something on YouTube, right? So here's my YouTube channel. Um, let's see. Uh, this is something I did for my thesis project. Uh, I can go ahead and click on this. And, oh, it's not finished. I should grab a newer one. Anyway, um, it doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and get the share on this, go ahead and copy, or you can just hit the copy there. Either one, I can come over to here and paste this here. And enter. And let's wait a second. Come on now. Did we get it? There we go. See, it worked. All right. So at this point, if I hit publish, it's basically like saving everything. So, and they're going to keep trying to get you to upgrade. Just get used to it. All right, so there's going to be certain assignments that we're going to hand in via Sketchfab, and there's going to be certain assignments that we hand in via video. And if we hand it in via video, uh, a YouTube link will be the way that we typically do that. Now, I'm not sure if all of these, you know, what works, what doesn't work, but it'll let you know if it doesn't work. And there's probably a limit on file sizes for like something like here, like upload a file. Uh, <clears throat> you know, if I try to upload a file that's 400 megabytes, it's probably going to tell me no way. It might be like 50 megabytes is the size that you can upload it to. It might even be smaller than that. I'm not sure. Um, so there definitely will be limitations. Uh, let's go ahead and show another thing that we can do here. Slideshow is pretty important. This might come in handy. So you can pick a different types of uh, slideshow. Um, and this is the typical one. Um, let's go ahead and just, let's do this one, thumbnails on top. And we'll go back to, oh, should, I should go to something that has small image files, but I don't have a lot of small image files because everything I do is huge. So, um, let's see, we'll go back to Hawaii. And, you know, I can go ahead and grab, I'm sure I can grab multiple files here. So um, let's grab, this is a great one. You'll like that. And this, and this is my son swimming and uh, underwater shots. And a hookah hookah numa numa a poo ah ah. I think I said that wrong. That's the uh, Hawaiian national fish. Hookah hookah numa numa a poo ah ah. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. It took me a while to memorize that. Anyways, so these are going to go ahead and upload, and there should be like a main picture, and then there will be other ones that you can choose. And let's see, it's going to probably take forever, so I'll pause the video. Okay, so all the photos are loaded, and you can see all I have to do is hit save, or I can add more photos. Um, Looks like you can add a link, you can add a comment or caption, uh, all text. I, you know, I would only spend as much time as you need at this point. Um, if you want to write something about it, you know, have a process book or something like that. Uh, those are things that we'll we'll keep working on. Uh, it says drag to reorder. Apparently, it's not letting me drag down. I have to actually kind of drag it. Let's see if this works. There we go. I want to put that first. Let's hit save. It'll come up here. And uh, here we go. We click on this guy. You can see that that pops up. Now, once I hit publish, 
close that. Let's go over to, I actually have that tab open. I click on CGT 116 and whatever I publish should pop up here. So let's see what we're doing. All right, so, so far so good. And there we go. Okay, so I'll go over naming conventions in a different, uh, a different uh, video. But I just wanted to get you guys started on how you can set up stuff in Weebly and, uh, you know, certain things like spacers are nice too. Sometimes you just want a little space between the two things and, you know, a title. This is me being a goofball, you know, so that'll be good. Um, map. I've never put one of those in there. Interesting. I can map it to Hawaii. Um, so anyway, uh that's up there now. Um, I just went ahead and went over to Sketchfab uh, while that was loading and I was looking at one of my models that I loaded to Sketchfab and I went ahead and hit embed below my model and hit copy here and I wanted to see if I could actually embed that into this free website. I'm not sure it's gonna let me um, but let's take a look. Let's see embed code so if I drag this down here, now this should be HTML, I'm assuming, yep, see? So let's go ahead and paste that in, control V to paste, is it pasting? Does it not want to paste? Let's try this again. Um, maybe I didn't uh, copy it correctly. Uh, edit custom HTML. There we go. All right. Here's here's going for it. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that, guys. So now, right inside of Sketchfab, let's go ahead and publish this. Let's see what happens. This is all uh, me experimenting again. Like I said, I've never done this on a free site, so uh, this will be interesting. Now I have videos on setting up Sketchfab, so you'll have to reference those for uh, for how to get uh, your Sketchfab page going. So let's go ahead and look at this. We'll have to refresh it. You can just hit F5 to refresh your... Oh man, that's cool. Load it. Come on. There we go. Now I can expand this, make it full screen. There we go. So now I can look at this and I can probably change the lighting and everything in here. Let's see. Well, I'll have to play around with it a little more. I just started using Sketchfab. I actually, yeah, there we go. I hold Alt and middle mouse drag to change the lighting. Helps you look at like normal maps and bump maps and stuff like that. Um, we're not going to get so much into the maps in this class uh, if you're watching this for the 116 class, but um, that'll be for a different time. But uh, you know, that's something you can do is check your maps. Uh, you can look at your wireframe. Is it clean? Does it look right? Good edge looping. Um, so you can see all that stuff. Uh, we can turn on a matte cap surface. Just kind of get a good look at like how it looks nice and smooth. That's material capture. And then I'm not sure what the difference between these two are. You can do a UV checker. So it kind of shows if your UVs look like they're laid out well. Mine are perfect. No, I, I won't go that far, but they look decent. Albedo is just your flat, diffuse texture. Specular texture is where your highlights are going to pop up more. Normal map is for bump, if you're in games. Um, well, film, film people use normal maps too. Uh, emission is like lit up objects, uh, like a, something that you want to glow. I don't have anything like that in here. And then final render. All right, so that's just a little uh, rundown of um, basically most of the features that you're going to need to uh, work and post for this class. Of course, every, every assignment will have a title 
and we'll have it you have to title it properly so that we can track it through the class and so this is pretty cool because you get to start your portfolio early and often and build it iteratively and later when you have better models and cooler stuff and more animations and uh, whatever you're building and making whatever you go on to do you can get rid of your old stuff or you can actually hide the pages like let's say you have a page that you're just like ah, I don't like any of the stuff on there you could just say hide in navigation and no one would even know it was there so you can just check that box and, and it'll disappear from your navigation and uh, it's, it's pretty neat what you can do in here there's a lot more I'm only going over the, the very basics uh, but you know this will get you going alright so I'm going to publish this last thing and that'll be the end of this tutorial so thank you for watching and enjoy making your own website